Yeah, I've been, I've been waiting to get this interview for a long time. Y'all see who I got right here coming up here? ASAP. And, 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 and Mr. Ed, Ed, Ed Love. How y'all doing? Come on over here. Let's get let's, let's get this thing started. Get a shit of me. GP and Penitentiary. Huh? Uh, <laughs> you already know. Hey, yo, your legs done got dark since yesterday. Yeah, we. Y'all about that swim pool? No, hell no. We got me winning goddamn uh, 10 things I said out of here, so I was gonna do. Yeah, check out. Look, look at them legs and their feet. Yeah, their feet are white, but. Yeah, but, but man, yesterday your, your whole body was white. Yeah, now I'm back. You back? You must be putting that black up in them. Be putting that black up in them? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Uh, I'm excited about this interview. Uh, I'm excited about it because I'm saying I'm excited so we can't lie. Oh, no, we ain't going to all that. I mean, we, we, can, talk, we, we can talk on that briefly, but this ain't, this ain't no interview okay. to, uh, to bash Ed. We're not this, bashing Ed. This ain't no interview to Ed, bash Ed. Ed. You can't bash Ed. This man did more time in a goddamn Greensboro jail cell than anybody. You can't bash Ed. You can't bash Ed. We, we ain't even going to try. No, hell no. Yeah, but anyway. I'm the only one to talk shit to Ed or about Ed. That's right. Because it's mine. Go ahead. All right. Ed, uh, <laughs> we got a motherfucking head for it. How, how, you, how you pick up with it? You know, you have to be strong minded. You got to be strong minded there with ASAP? Strong minded. But, uh, I love her. Do you? Love she love you too, man. Huh? That's, and, that's real, and that's real shit. ASAP don't like too many people. But she, she like you. You hear me? Well, our personalities sort of match. Like, she's the fire. I'm sort of ice. Oh, she's the fire, and you do the ice that can cool off. Put it out. Yeah, you know, so she don't go into supernova. Supernova, she okay. Explode, you know? Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm excited about the interview, man. Uh, I've seen you a few times, but I hear it's like every time I start doing an interview, the wind just start blowing. That's so good. Yeah, I know, but I ain't got no uh, wind screen on this camera. It, it, it don't got no spot for me to put it in. And people on my channel be just talking trash. Why don't you get the wind thing? Get the mics. I got the mic. I got the everything, but it don't, it don't got that, that, that wind thing. Because it ain't really no vlogging camera. It's really like a regular camera. But anyway, uh, we're going to see if we can get it in anyway. Um, like I was saying, uh, I seen you a couple times, but I hear about you all the time. And uh, she don't talk too highly about that many people, but. She started off saying that you was a real dude. Uh, it went from a father figure that she 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 she, she gradually started falling in love with you. She said how how uh, doing her been through a whole lot in the past. And y'all getting closer now. Now she don't want nobody else but you in the world around her. But I want I want to get your side. How y'all meet, man? Uh, we met uh, when I was staying at uh. Oh, yeah, the hotel and uh, I was working as a clerk mm -hmm. in the uh, Sam's Club. Shell's gas station. That's Sam's Mart. Yeah, Sam's. Yeah, Sam's Mart. And uh, we met there. Right. So I come in on time. Yep. By choice, really. Right. Right. Um, we are briefly. Uh, what do y'all tell? Tell me some of the things y'all been through that made y'all wish you were. You been around the bush here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, one winter, uh, I think it was the coldest winter, and uh, and uh, you know, I have a place to go. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm like, hey, I can't leave right. Right. So we stayed in my SUV. Uh huh. Let me, let me turn the this. engine. Let me to, turn this way. For heat. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, we would be curled up in blankets. Mm -hmm. And on, only our body heat would keep us warm. 
let's, let's go back up back there. Yeah. Pull it to that sunlight. Got that, that wind, that wind bobbing. I, I don't want to mess this interview up. Y'all good right there. Y'all good right there. And that sun bother y'all a little yeah. bit. Ain't bothering y'all. Yeah. All right. But anyway, uh. But anyway, go ahead and finish. Yeah, and uh, I used to always chew Michelle out because she would use my truck when I was working. Mm -hmm. I'd get off work on E after I just about filled up the tank. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd be like, what are you doing? You know, it's eight degrees out here. You know what I mean? So we spend the... Uh, Night, right? Uh, cycling the engine every like hour. Stay warm. Yeah, stay warm. Mm -hmm. We're just blankets and us to keep us warm. How long y'all? How long y'all stay? Stay, uh, stay living in that um, the vehicle? It had to be for the night. Yeah, maybe a couple months. Four or five months. Yeah. Four or five months. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't leave. Her. You wouldn't leave her, but you had somewhere to go. Oh yeah. Right. Why you couldn't take her to your spot? Well, my uh, sister was, uh, she was, uh, suffered from MS. Okay. You know? And uh, she was not on the tip of interracial relationships. Okay, she had a problem with interracial relationships. So I didn't want to put her through that. Right, right. But, but but you but you stayed with her in that vehicle for four or five months. That's love, man. At that time, y'all hadn't even been intimate or nothing like that. Make your mind up, cause you, you telling me stuff different. Uh, uh, I got intimate with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, why, why you tell me that? Ace, Ace, you lie so much. I don't know when you telling the truth. Listen, intimate is not intimate like you think. I'm talking about sexual. You hit, you hit a couple times at the time? Maybe a couple times for money. Yeah. For, huh? Never mind. For money? We're not doing it. But, no, 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 we're, we're going to do it. The, the funny thing is, she was uh, adamant about, we haven't, uh, I think it was the second or third time, right? And then she asked for $20. We you know, that, that, but that's what they do. Yeah. She had an addiction at the time? No. No, what happened was, we thought he was going to play me. <laughs> and I, I got my shit in his room. I didn't think, you know what I'm saying? We weren't intimate, we weren't nothing. I thought we was just friends. Uh -huh. well, I stay gone two, three, four days, you know what I'm saying? I'm in Greenwood sometimes doing me. Yeah. And I'm going to do it, come back. I look, chair beside the door, and it's got two t shirts, one a triple X, one something with a goddamn, <laughs> so fucking ugly. I see. Where is all my shit? He said, Yeah, he said, I ain't no storage fee. Shit. Ain't no storage place. Yeah, you been gone three days. Shit, you shouldn't take shit with you. So I said, My makeup, my perfume, my clothes I just stole, where are they? Oh, shit. So I said, I So I turned around. Trash can. I know that's right. Hey, listen though. At that time, you have an addition. Ed, what's that? Ed. Did you have an addition at that time? Let Ed talk. An addition? Addiction. Addiction? Yeah. Oh no. You didn't have an addiction. No. Ace have have addiction at the time? Yeah. Right. Uh. -oh. Around what time the uh? You and ASAP start going through uh, things more serious, like struggling with addiction in and out of jailhouse? Uh, really, uh, ASAP has always had an addiction since I knew it, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I barely drink or smoke. Right. I rarely drink now, even today. How, how many times? Have so, I had so do, do you smoke? Okay. Yeah, I know, because a lot of people, you know, they damn pretty, they say, hey, I don't do it, I'm a case, I, I'm functional. I go to work six days a week, I do it once every month, as if that's still good, and it, it really right. no better. Right. Uh, because it's the same damage and consequences. Right, 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 right. right. Uh, and I just want to go ahead and stop you before you start, you know. Uh, no, but you're right. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, that's just, that, that just how it is. Yeah. Uh, so, um, ASAP was telling me uh, how she took a charge for you. What a charge? Well, well, get it right, because you know, 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 you did you go to jail for it? Fuck yes. Then you took a charge. Fuck yes. Say it. That's my daddy right there on my That's heart. That's right. He died. I couldn't even go to his own funeral. That's right. What do you mean? You took a charge. The man that raised me. That was the man that raised me. That's right. Because you love it. Well, the circumstances behind it uh -huh. was uh, we went to a, a mutual friend's uh, apartment. Right? There was some uh, racists. Right? Okay. Uh, the only thing you can call them is racist. Right. You know, they were, what they said, they were red devils, and, you know, in uh, prison gangs, just that and other. And uh, I guess they didn't like uh, our relationship. Uh -huh. They had uh, one of the witnesses that was there with them mm -hmm. before we arrived mm -hmm. said they had been drinking corn liquor, mm -hmm. smoking corn, using, you know, and uh, the subject of conversation was me. So when we walked in, uh, I never said a word through, through that whole ordeal. ordeal. I never said a word. Right. And uh, they asked Ace, uh, Ace up a question. What hit? Yep. And uh, then they had their knives out and were on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was able to uh, find them and uh, wound another. Right. Uh, so the jury, uh, and, and they said, I walked in the door of the apartment shooting. Mm -hmm. But the forensics didn't show that. Right. The forensics showed the gunshot residue on their body. So intense. You know? Right. And uh, ASAP, you know, uh, Ended up taking a, a charge for you know for the incident. Right. That she never should have took. Right. Thank you. Did, so did you get locked up for that? I yeah. Did. Hello, hey, oh, hey Sap. I already know the answers. I'm just trying to. You done told me all the answers. I'm sorry about that. Let me ask the questions. Uh, I don't. I just want my, my viewers to get caught up on it because I know all this shit. Okay. I'm just asking for my for my channel for real. <laughs> I know all this shit. I'm sorry, so intense. Uh. So how long did you stay locked up? Uh, five years. Five years. All up, all up in the county jail. That's really like 10 years in prison. Cause that goddamn county jail, that's, that's a hard time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a hard time. Oh, yeah. yeah, uh, at that time, was you locked up too, ASAP? Yeah. So y'all wasn't able to correspond? Yeah. Nothing? Only one. Once. So y'all, 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 so you got a letter from her and, you, and he got a letter from you one, yeah. time one time in five years. So I, and, and I got a bag of coffee from one of the nurses that was cool for, she lost a job. Yeah. Uh -huh. She brought a big bag of coffee. Right, so you. Mean, we never so, so uh, that's amazing. It's amazing of uh, 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 the uh, the level of loyalty that you showed in that situation, because you got yeah. I see loyalty and blessed on you. This man uh, had me cold yeah, than yeah, ever. Yeah, 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 cold than ever. I read that book, Santiago. I been under a bridge. Yeah, but, but that's a book called Cold than ever too. Yeah, but been under in New York, you ever read that book? So it's, a, it's a book. Let me let me talk though. Man. But anyway, uh, what I was saying was that level of loyalty. Is unbelievable, Ed, for a woman to show you anybody to show you that type of loyalty. And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you why. You got people out here on the street, best friends, girlfriend, boyfriends, be together all day and get locked up and somebody flip and, and just to try to save themselves and push the other one up under the bridge, whether they're guilty or not guilty. You know, I always gotta be you know, always gotta be guilty for somebody to cross you out and for their own personal gratification. Uh for somebody to sit in that county jail with you for fucking five years with one motherfucking letter in five years and remain silent, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's on a whole nother level. You hear me? I don't think nobody else, nobody else would've did it. Somebody would've been trying to say they motherfucking self wrote fake statements, fake lies just to get out that shit. So for a woman to sit in that motherfucker for five years and remain silent, said, nah, he gonna beat this. Matter of fact, let me, let me wear this charge, set him free. Yeah, boy, I'm, it, it, it's a blessing. And I'm glad to see y'all still here today, together. Uh, since you've been home. Hey, hey, so how much time you do for that? I got out. Uh, how much time you do? I did 
four years, six months, five years. So you got it before him? I got out one month for him. Oh yeah? Oh, you took a plea bargain. You got tired sitting in that county jail. Plea bargain. Because you got tired sitting in that county. <laughs> I love, that, that, that hey, hey, look, that county jail make a motherfucker sign a plea bargain. Yeah. We were 24 months in the Senate. Right. They and came you, in what's called proper. And, you, and at that point, they wanted me to write a statement because they knew he was taking a trial. That was He was in jail 24 months. My attorney came to me with paperwork. Basically, without telling me, he told me, save your own self. Everybody in the pod told me, hey, what you got to do, man? My daddy just found out two months prior that he had a terminal brain disease. DA was off me, it was called time serving trial. He was gonna drop my shit, give me time serving. In exchange, because this man's taking the shit to trial, he ain't taking no defense. He wants his co defendant get on the stand, lie, say he kicked that door in his shit cold. I mean, you can't, what did I tell you about your I'm mouth? Sorry. I'm sorry, Paul. What did I tell you about your mouth? I'm sorry, Paul. They wanted me to lie. They were gonna give me time serving. <clears throat> they were gonna let me go. Right. You're a soldier, so you went to try to beat you know, that can shit. Can I tell you something, though? Huh? Can I be honest yes, with you? Can I be honest with y'all? It was not no easy. Hey, this man, you got my daddy, you got him. Man, you think I just all of a sudden said, let's write for it? I fought with that shit. I fought almost two months. My attorney came by every three weeks. Ms. Carton, you have that property yet? No, because I wrestled in my head. Oh my God, I wanted to have that system. And more importantly, I wanted to see my dad. I ain't heard from this man, so of this man, you know what I mean? But, that was my dad, that was the man, that was the only, I got nobody out here now. So I got you, nobody. So did you? That was the only person I had. So you so you ended up uh, getting out to, go to see your dad before he passed? No. Your dad passed while you was in jail? My dad passed away. Right before you got out? Damn. Like 10 months for that. 10 months? Damn. And they weren't gonna tell me. We was in COVID lockdown in Lanesburg Correction. And I got cold chills and I woke up. And I came out my pod and I said, where's the phone line? Yo, ASAP, you number 38. That means bitch, you ain't gonna get on the phone. You in close custody? The bitches hang up and call back. Hey, and they don't give a shit. Especially doing life. Give a shit about no what I tell you about your fucking person. mouth? I'm sorry, white person. They don't care. They don't care. So the girl beside of me came out of her cell and she said, Hey, Zip, are you checking on your daddy? I said, yeah, what are you? you can have my spot. That's not pay you when I get paid. You know what I mean? No. That's not before in line. 20 minutes later, I'm on the phone. My brother answered me screaming. I hear my mom sound like an animal. My brother says, I hope you're happy. You're the only person I hear. Dad died 20 minutes ago. How many minutes? 20 minutes ago. We're waiting on a hospital to come get the body. Damn, 20 minutes before you called. We're waiting on a hospital to come get his body. Mm. Before he went into a coma, my mama called the prison and asked him, could I please make a phone call? Before I was uh, an to sleep by my dad. They never came to the pod and told me. Damn, that's sad, man. You all right? Can... And then, I get out, and y'all, I was like a bondsman on air. I was like a bondsman. I'm hunting this man down like, like a bounty hunter. Like somebody paid me, like you would think that I had papers on me. I Google this man all the time. I show his phone when his lady's called. Please, ma'am, don't call here. Said it was back in Minnesota. I called this lady and rest. I'm so tired. I feel like if one person owed me any, oh, what do you say? Oh, if one person should run me, should be dead. Yeah, I, I, I understand how you feel. But well, let's not forget that Ed had somewhere to live and he slept in that cold ass car with you when he had no addiction. But also, so it, 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 it's even. You can't compare. Yeah, it, yeah, because both of them forms of loyalty. Yes. But what you did, what, 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 what you did, nobody else would do. Uh, what he did, no fucking body else is going to do either. What about this then? What about this then? Ain't, ain't no, ain't don't nobody owe each other no more, no more than nobody the other. Nobody owe me that. God has got me. I spun them. Right. Yes. You and Ed both, both have show, show the same Listen. type of loyalty. No. 
Okay, no. okay, ASAP. No. Well, go, well, go find another man with no addition and sleep no. in the car with you and for five I'm months. Sleep in the cold. Find another bitch that's gonna bury her no. daddy. Ain't nobody gonna do neither one. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. You trying to downplay I'm his while happy yours I'm up. Downplaying his, but show me love now. Uh, show me the same loyalty now. I, I think he, he he's standing right beside you. Man. Oh, you sleeping last night? Motel room, right? Partly because of me too, darling. Hold up. <laughs> this ain't your money making man right here. I'm still that bitch. That's right. It's I'm it. still that one. That's right. I make what? I make bank out here. You think I got this money home because I'm dependent on him to get paid? Don't get that shit fucked ain't up. Ain't no goddamn way. Ain't no way. Ain't no goddamn ain't way. Ain't no way around it. That's right. What you, what you drinking on? Because it's hot as hell out here. What, what's that? Liquor store club. That's 14% alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no way around it. Uh, I love ASAP, boy. ASAP, but hello. Hey, hey uh, let's, get, let's get to the addiction part. Back then, when y'all were going through all that, you ain't, you ain't had no, no addiction. No. When, you, when you start smoking? I started smoking when I So, first time you ever took a hit, you were ASAP? Huh? This time. Last time. This time. This time. So, so, so how, how you end up taking a hit the first time with, with, with ASAP? Well, I figured I was paying but for it. But you've been doing it. Huh? I was I was paying so much money, right? <laughs> Support her. Habit, yeah. I decided to get in on the deal. Look at this big guy. This man been around the goddamn world. Yeah, he got yeah. Got high in California in a bathhouse with full business. Hey yo, so uh, what kind of job? What you do for a living, man? Uh, I'm a sort of a jack all trade. I've been a, a operations supervisor at different warehouses. Yeah. I uh. Have been uh, an assistant operation manager at uh, furniture warehouses uh -huh. and uh, produce warehouses, and uh, uh, currently uh, I'm an administrator at at my job. Okay, uh, so so you you employed right now, doing good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay then, you got somewhere to stay too? Um, we can. What's stopping y'all from having somewhere to stay? Well, uh, you say you can, as if it's something keeping you from staying well, somewhere. Well, what we got to do is uh, manage our finances better right? and uh, make a commitment on what we want to do. Whether well, we want to be in North Carolina, elsewhere, uh, an apartment, you know, make a decision. But you do got a job. You do got work every day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's good, man. Um, so how long ago has it been when, when ASAP, you said, you know what, this shit supporting your addiction uh, is affecting my pockets, I might well get some out of the deal, right. let, let, me, let, me, let me hit that. How long ago has it been? That's been, what, about five, seven, seven years ago? Seven years ago? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, that's what first so you and ASAP, y'all been y'all been fucking around for a long ass time then. Yeah, yeah. Since 2017, we got we, we hooked up 2016. Oh yeah, got locked up yeah. in 2017. Okay, okay. Hey, so um, since you since you uh, grabbed that addiction, how has it uh, changed your life? Uh, I've spent more money on it, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as uh going to work. She knows I'm a workaholic, you know? Yeah, I, I was giving her a ride yesterday and she called you. I was telling her, man, get off the phone and let the man work. Yeah. You had your professional voice on. Yeah. I said, oh, he working. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so ain't no more damage to consequences other than the incarceration. Well, that's, that's, that's a whole lot. I'm not, I'm not downplaying the consequences because going to jail for a, a margin, going to trial for five years, taking five years, that's a hell of a consequence. Also, sleeping in the car, uh, and right now you're struggling with, 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 with somewhere to stay. Outside of that, you got any more consequences like kids? You got any kids? Uh, yeah, they're grown. You got, got grown kids? How old are you, Ed? What's that? How old are you? Uh, 62. You're 62? I thought you were 56. Who said that? Somebody told me you were 56. It's all good. So, we, we got, you, got, you, got your little young tender, don't you? <laughs> got your little, little young tender? Yeah, I'm sorry, though. With Candace? See how I know Candace's name? You, know, you see how I know her name? Yeah. What that mean? That She's real to me. <laughs> that means that mean, that mean ACF talk about this shit all the time. Yeah. Yeah, who is Candace? Uh, big you dog? Know. Who is Candace? We've been waiting to get to this part. Hey, look. No, hold on. 
Who is Cam? No, no, hold on. Hey, Zuni, pick up her front of her. Let's hear that shit. Hey. She real. She let, me, let, me, let me hold that bottle. Y'all don't need a bottle. Let me hold that bottle. Hands too. What's up? Hey, so who is Candace, big dog? Candace could walk around the corner, right here, uh -huh. and I wouldn't know her. You wouldn't know her? See? That's shit. Huh? That she said, ASAP said she done found a lady. You, you and the lady been talking about for lady, months lady, in your, in your phone, message. The encrypted code. No, no. Ask her to show you the, show you the text. I asked her to show me the text. You ain't seen it yet. So she making up shit in her head when she get high. No, no. It's like this. She's got preconceived. Uh, hey, 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 you can't do that on camera. Sorry. Right. She got oh, preconceived notions. She's got notions that. I had I had a coworker, Bill, uh -huh. riding in the truck. He he's your phone. No, he uh he was riding with me. Uh huh. She was on the phone. No, that's not true. Saying that. That's not true. And uh, she she said this 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 how long this uh you know that business back. She said that B I T C H was in the background. Mm -hmm. Da 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 da. Right? Yeah. Right. And I and I put the put it on speaker. Mm -hmm. Right? Man, did this shit been driving her crazy for months? I know. I know. She Who's stuck on this phone? shit. I know. Wow. She said Candace worked with you, was in the, in the, in the work truck with was, you. Was, no. it was, number no. two, why no. would these people tell me no. you left with Candace? Number three, Ooh. why would you be getting payday loans? Number four, how the fuck we Oh yeah, she, she, said, she, said, yeah she said you got yeah, all the emails, no. about some loan you got. How we ended up Wesley Long? So, bottom line is, do you, is, 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 is you talking to somebody no. named Candace? Say no. It's all in her head. Say no. No, it's right there. Say no. Look, look. Hey, 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 Sal. Oh, you do it. Oh, it's real. Ed, don't lie. Well, let, well, let him talk. He can't tell the truth or a lie, cause he can't talk. Hey, hey, go ahead, Ed. Yeah, so. She, she, she's got these <laughs> well, you got, you got ASAP fucked up. She's got these notions that she's ride with me. Anytime that I don't answer the phone, you with Candace. The bottom line if is, I'm the bottom I'm line is, else, uh -huh. do you know a Candace? Yeah, bottom line. That's bottom line. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. That's bottom line. Keep it. Do you or do you not know Candace, man? Keep it real. Oh, she making all this shit up in her head. <laughs> yeah, you know. Her. <laughs> yeah, the fuck you do. Yeah. Hey, 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 go on, go, go. Yeah, but it's all good. But he ain't, he ain't having no affair, man. No. It's like this. The, the, uh, the, the C whatever. Uh-huh. That's in my phone, right? Uh-huh. You know, I don't know if it's work-related. Oh. I don't know if it's... Because... Work-related, but it's encrypted. Do you know a Candace? Yes. No. Uh. Oh! Hey, you met a Candace. Hey, you, you, you I have never met a Candace. So you know what Candace that was accidentally jumped in your phone? If if she in there. Right. If she in there. No, no. It, oh. it's, it's right there. It could be anybody. I've got numbers in my phone that are work related. That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm saying. It, that could be anybody else, work related, oh, anything. You but you, but you, but you don't know exactly who that is. You ain't get back in that work. Uh, Let me tell you how you get home. Hey, 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 Sam. Let me ask you something. How, how, you, how do you know uh, uh, Candace is this? Man, how do I know? Because without, without all the cussing. Oh God, I ain't cussing. These people don't even mess with me. I knew the man wasn't acting right on his birthday. I knew he wasn't, cause I know he's right. <laughs> so I got him. his phone, unlocked it, went in the bathroom, shut the door, and text my people. On news. Hey, what was that girl I was with early? Now mind you, this is his phone. Right. I'm texting like I'm him. Right. Yeah. So make y'all some. Uh where y'all see y'all relationship at in the next two years? In the next two years? Yeah. He's gonna be dead and I'll be in prison for life. Alright. What about you, Ed? Well uh hey, I hope we got a plot. They're not to burn him. The only question now is do we bury or burn him? The either way you ask. I don't I don't know what state we're gonna be in. State. Right. With the state like North Carolina, right. uh, Florida, uh -huh. Texas, right. I, I get it. California, but we'll be together. Hey. Yeah. Uh, your locate the state, the state as far as location wise, don't matter. I'm worried about your state of mind. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what state of mind you gonna be in? You gonna be still struggling with addiction? You gonna try to get yourself clean? No, no. So you gonna have a healthy relationship? Yeah, absolutely. That's the goal. That's that's my goal. Hey, it's an honor to meet you, man. Uh, Camera went dead. I'm using my phone now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this because I, I don't like holding this phone. But we're gonna follow up on you, man. We're gonna, we're gonna talk now. We're gonna broke the ice. 
We're going to keep up with you ASAP. Y'all look forward to uh, doing another interview. All right, God bless hey, you, man. Y'all see me again. They're going to see him again. God bless you too, ASAP. Thank you. Thank you.